Okay everyone, today we're going to do the determination of a packed cell volume using the hematocrit method. So let's go over briefly to the procedure and the material that we are going to use during this course of experiment. Here are the material and apparatus used to for this experiment. The big spot of the, at the right here is the centrifuge. The middle top is the rack, test tube rack and we already prepared the a drap kin region inside the test tube here and on the corner left here is the tips for the pipette the yellow one is for the the yellow tips is for the 20 microlit pipette and the bottom left is the blue tips for the 1000 ml pipette in the middle at the pipettes on the left is the 20 microliter pipette on the right is the 1000 microlit pipette beside the blue pipette is the plasticine used to seal the tube ends and below it is the hematocrit tube and beside it on beside and the on the another right is the scale used to measure the hematocrit and on the left hand side of the yellow pipette is the cuvette Okay, here are the practical manuals. I assume you guys have access to it in from the CN and have read the instruction how to do the experiment. Then we can proceed to the next video. To use a lancet, first we need to remove its safety pin. To prick a finger, firmly press the lancet on the skin surface. After that, you push the trigger button. Massage the finger downward in order to make a small drop of blood on the finger surface. Roll one end of the tube at the drop of blood to allow the blood to flow into the tube by capillary action. Seal one end of the tube using the plasticine as shown in the video. Mix it well and let it stand for 15 minutes. While waiting, we can spin the hematocrit tube using this special centrifuge. Carefully align the hematocrit tube to make it balance. Now we set it at 5000 RPM and then 5 minutes then we can press start
first we set up the blind using the trap pin only the agent uh, Wipe the outer surface of the cuvette clean with the clean cloth to prevent any fingerprint or dust that will hinder the path of light. After we fill up the cuvette with the sample, wipe clean the outer surface of the cuvette with the clean cloth to prevent any dust or fingerprints that will disrupt the path of light when it's inside the spectrophotometer. Record the excellency shown by the spectrophotometer.